हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ इट साइंस अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू अ मॉर्निंग व्हिच स्टार्ट्स विद रिगोरस एक्सरसाइज टैक्सिंग एक्सरसाइज इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मॉर्निंग फॉर मी एट लिस्ट but uh, do all the exercise lead to fat loss because we have a set in our mind that uh, in order to burn fat we need to do exercise but what is the truth behind the fat loss what is the science behind the fat loss today we are going to discuss that in its science a fat molecule is a big molecule which consists 54 carbon atoms 108 hydrogen atoms and 6 oxygen atom so the formula for fat molecule is c54 h108o6 so fat molecule is basically c54 h108o6 these fat molecules can be burned with the help of oxygen how when you do cardio exercise cardio exercises are proved to be very effective in fat loss in cardio exercise we voluntarily raise heart beats per minute up to a considerably higher value for an average person who is healthy our heart beats at a rate of 55 to 65 beats per minute there is a mathematics that if your age is suppose 30 this means you can raise your heart beats per minute up to 190 voluntarily while doing exercises provided you do not have any medical condition but please consult your doctor also sometimes we do exercise or we may walk and we get sweat we sometimes sweat heavily and we think that we are burning our fat molecule when we raise our heart rate up to like 170 or 180 your body becomes so hot and it is the nature of our system to cool down our body that's why the sweat comes because sweat particles when vaporizes it takes a latent heat of 540 calorie per gram and which will take that much amount of 540 calorie per gram from our body itself which in turn keeps our body cool because according to arrhenius equation we know that rate of reactions is dependent on the temperature and our body is a chemistry laboratory where lots and lots of reactions are going on while doing exercises our body gets heated so much that our skin turns red and we sweat a lot when i voluntarily raise my heart beats up to such an extremely high level all the muscles of mine requires lots and lots of oxygen so lots of blood flows up to the surface of my skin to supply more oxygen to all of my muscle so my skin turns red as a face offers a larger surface area compared to neck or hands so my body voluntarily choose the larger surface area of the face so that it can radiate more and more heat within a very short interval of time to reduce our body temperature sweating is also another byproduct of cardio exercises with the help of this process my body gets cooled down sometimes my body gets so much heated that it sweats itself 
a lot to keep me cool but that does not ensure that i am burning more fat in a hot sunny day i may sweat a lot while sitting on my couch but that does not mean i am losing the fat sweating also cleanses your skin Sometimes I burn almost 450 kilo calories within just 1 hour of intense cardiac session. But if my diet is not good, if it is full with junk food etc, the whole exercise session will be in vain. and when we do cardiac exercise we inhale from our nose and exhale from our mouth so when we inhale through our nose we take oxygen that oxygen burns those carbon hydrogen and oxygen molecules that inhaled oxygen makes a reaction with the fat molecule which is C54H108O6 and that makes H2O and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide and that h2o in the form of vapor exit through your mouth so reduction of fat loss is basically a reaction here in it science today i wanted to bust the myth that exercise burns the fat but the fact is somewhere i read that it is 60% diet 20% exercise and 20% is a sleep so fat loss or muscle gain depends immensely on your diet only please let me know in the comment section below how do you like the video thanks for your time